Hey, it's Katie. Um, I've been getting comments and messages um, from friends and um, people who actually watch my videos, which is surprising. Thank you for watching. Um, about how flawless my skin looks in my videos, which is a huge compliment. Um, I get compliments on my skin all the time because I'm actually very, very, very pale. And um, But my face... I mean, it's, I have redness areas, and I have acne scars, and I have really dark circles under my eyes. The reason why my skin probably looks so flawless on camera is lighting and poor camera quality. But um, makeup definitely has a part in it. If you suffer from terrible dark circles like I do, um... I suggest um, getting the Ole Definity uh, Eye Illuminator. It's in my um, skincare Ole review. I haven't even been using it for two weeks, and I've already noticed a huge difference. Um, this girl left a comment in my zebra lips video, and this is why I'm making the video. So hi, I don't remember your username, but hi. <laughs> And um, she asked what concealers I use. I use um, several different kinds. It depends what you're trying to conceal. Like um, for like red um, acne, you would need more of a green based concealer. But me, my um, active acne, it is red but it's not that bad. I just use um, flesh tone concealers or white concealers. And definitely for my dark circles, I use white concealers. This is, an, I think, the newest concealer I've gotten. It's Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector with SPF 25. I don't think you're going to be able to read that. But yeah. Um, it's in Fair. And I don't just use this on my eyes. I, um, I put a lot under my eyes. I put it like um, I have redness under my nose and any... Um, acne scars that I have and it works pretty well yeah it's pretty good um, I've noticed if I let it set if I let it sit there for a while it kind of sinks in on its own so you don't even have to like really rub it in you just like dab it oh and I apologize for my nails they're horrendous I'm sorry so yeah just um, sweep it on and dot certain areas leave it on for a few seconds and it like absorbs into your skin and you just like dot it to rub it in. Um, another great concealer that I've been using for a very long time. It's L'Oreal True Match something. A gentle Mineral Concealer with SPF 25. It looks like this. It's a powder concealer. And it even comes with um, this applicator brush. And I, before this, I'd never heard of a powder concealer, and I didn't think it would work. But this works amazingly, and it lasts forever. Like, I've been using this for years, and this is, like, my second bottle. And the applicator works really well, too. You can use it under your eyes. I don't because um, under my eyes, where my dark circles are, I have um, it's really dry. So the, the powder, like, brings out that dryness. But um, I do put it on a uh, spot acne and um, acne scars or just any kind of like uh, I have a lot of redness on my cheeks right here and I even use it kind of like as a foundation or as a powder foundation and I'll just put it all over there. Um, I strongly recommend this. It's really good. But the, the concealer that I probably use the most that I learned from my mother because she's been using it forever and supposedly it's the number world's best concealer at least that's what it said I just bought a new one and it's Ma Maybelline New York cover stick and it's in white it looks like this and it's just a white stick and uh, I use these all the time um, like I said I'm very pale like I'm white. I just put this everywhere. I just put streaks all over my face. 
especially under my eyes. I just completely like cover under my eyes with it. Just all along here and blend. And if you have severe discolorations, most people suggest that you put concealer on under your foundation. I put it over my foundation because instead of my prop oh, I have a few problem spots, but everywhere else my skin is generally okay. That's why I use a light foundation and go heavy on the concealer. And you should use, especially for dark circles, use a concealer that's about uh, two, I can't think, like, like two shades lighter than you out are naturally. Since most foundations, like the lightest foundations, is too dark for me already, that's really hard for me to find, is which, um, why the white stick works so good for me and for pill skins, or, um, I couldn't find my white stick today. So, um, I use my NYX eyeshadow base in white. Um, like, as I was putting it as my eyeshadow base, I just put it under my eyes, and it works exactly the same. And the NYX eyeshadow base is pretty much the same as, um, NYX eye jumbo pencil and milk. Um, when I can't find my white stick, I use those instead. And it works, like, exactly the same. And, um, if you're... They call it goth makeup or whatever. I mix it with my foundation because I'm that pale. It's um, Manic Panic Dream Tone in Virgin, which is the white one. Um, lately, my skin's been really clear, so I've been using a really light foundation, so um, the color doesn't really matter too much. Um, but sometimes I do put this in my problem spots, in my red areas, like the redness around my nose or right here or even under my eyes. But, um, just like that powder, this foundation, it turns into, like, it gets, like, powdery. So if you have dry skin, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're really pale like me, or have severe black eyes, or if you're into any type of theatrical makeup, or if you're goth, whatever, this is just a really cool thing to have. And... That is my tips and my favorite concealers that I like to use. So, see you later. Bye.